and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Now, when we left off, we were just about to go down here with George at half health. Um, I was thinking about running back to my city to do something about that, but for now we'll just leave it be. I'm sure we can deal with three goblins and two archers. Attack! Now take care of these archers immediately. I could use this battle as an opportunity to heal George up to full health with my Acolyte. But I don't want to spend the time on that, so we'll just skip it this time around. You should go down fairly quickly. We'll get a good five experience or so, which should level up our archer. And we'll heal George a little bit more. And there we go. He is now level two. He has become a marksman. Um, much better. He will be doing 40 damage per turn instead of just 25. So his damage output is getting close to George's. And these two will probably level during our next battle. Oh, and we've got some life mana over here, so we will actually take the time to hire a um, an Archangel. So we can go plant a rod next to that and get a little bit more right, income. Hi, we'll take another turn to get over there, but uh, start it now so we can be prepared for next turn. And what else can we build here? Uh, well, since we're finally using a squire, at least somewhat, we can build one of these now. Um, you can turn your squires into knights when they level, or witch hunters. Um, the knight is slightly stronger, got a little bit more HP, and I think that's it actually. Um, it has slightly more HP, but the witch hunter has a mind immunity, so any mind based attacks will not work on him. Things like paralyze uh, won't be able to affect him which is nice to have even though there aren't that many mind based attacks so I'll take him anyway the extra 10 HP isn't that really was. a huge issue so we can do without and that's enough for that turn let's see what the enemy throws at us not much it would seem now I think I think we'll go down here. This should be a pretty easy battle and should give us just enough experience to level our two other characters in the back row. Attack! So let's do that. Okay, so he should be able to take out this archer by himself, maybe. No, not quite. Okay. But that's alright, our apprentice should finish them off. Oh, no, he missed a couple, that's alright. Definitely need some healing going on though. George is in a very tight spot. Attack the archer, quickly. Okay. Okay, heal George for a little more, attack, hmm, expose him and can defend this turn. Okay, so we'll get a little bit more healing in.
Okay, and these two should now level up. Awesome. We've now got a mage, which will hit everyone for 30. And we've got a cleric, who will heal everyone for 20. That is a very nice party we're building up. Okay, yes. and now we can plant our rod over here for 150 gold coins. Oh, and there's an enemy up here as well, a master thug. They are dangerous. They have a very high initiative, I think 70, and they can poison your units as well, So, which will take off 20 damage per turn. Um, so it's best to avoid them until you're sure you can take them on. I serve yes. the but for now, we'll just end the turn again. Get a little bit more of our health regenerated. Okay, and we'll take the time just to build this last structure. We probably won't be using thieves much, yes. but it's there just in case. Now, we've got these things. Um, they're marked in brown on the minimap. They are... Um, Places to explore. They could be forts, towers. They're sort of like mini dungeons, I suppose. Um, it's just one battle, but you get good items for them usually, a decent amount of gold, and sometimes there's also a scripted event. But for the most part, they're usually fairly simple. There are some that contain very high level enemies, but this isn't one of them, I don't believe. And we should be able to take it out with our party the way it is at the moment. Okay, so it is a fairly higher level encounter than we're used to. We do have this ghost, which can paralyze a single enemy on... Well, a single one of our units, I suppose. And a zombie and a fighter. Zombies are leveled units, so they do 50 damage instead of the... 25 that a fighter would do but this still shouldn't be too tough as long as we take out that ghost quickly and let George take the brunt of the assault here he might actually have to heal himself this turn our cleric won't be doing much He might not even go first, come to think of it. Oh no, this should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, see, in a situation like this, the priest would be nice. But I really do like the cleric for later. So, we'll just keep it as it is. Ooh, took some more damage. We'll let the archer deal with that next turn. And there we go. That battle's done, and we should get a nice item at the end of this. We'll see. 200 gold, and a zombie orb. Um, if we could use orbs, we could summon a zombie to our side of the field during battle. We found Kabbalistic symbols inside this ruin. A powerful poison was brewed here recently. I wonder why. Okay, so someone brewed a poison in this ruined tower here. Um, not I'm foreboding listening. at all. Now we've got this rod planter who isn't doing anything at the moment. So we'll kind of send her forward to scout ahead for us. Um, there's a magic shop here. We can uh, buy spells from here if they sometimes stock spells that we can't actually research on our own. Spells from other races, or spells of a higher level. But I don't think this shop has anything really all that useful. We might buy some anyway, if we do have a fair bit of gold. But we'll see. The Emperor has been poisoned. Corrupt nobles sent by Airhog attempted to assassinate him. He survived the attack, but will soon perish if we don't find an antidote to Airhog's concoction. I suppose that's the poison we found in that tower there. 
came at the exact right time directly after we had uh, discovered the remains of that oh and here's the first um, legions of the damned party that we see I smell the foul stench of sulfur advance with caution for the lands ahead are inhabited by demonic beasts yes we see them right there um, we can't see anything any information about their party until we get a thief over here and that is the biggest use for the thief um, you can use your thief on an enemy party to infiltrate a spy into yes. their ranks Would I hide and he will be able to see the party formations of everyone on the enemy team very handy to have Let's check out this shop real quick. Okay, he sells a summon rock spell, which is another summon. Uh, the rock is kind of useless in battle, but it is good for scouting. Um, blizzard, which will do 15 points of water damage to a party. Again, not very useful, and we probably won't bother with either of these. So let's move on. I don't think we can get by here without battling this orc. So I think we'll just leave that be and we'll go around. Again? Yes. Okay, and it's time to end the turn again. Oh, and she's taking off. I don't think she fancies her chances against me. Okay, so now... Oh, we can take on that team, no problem. And that will allow our Archangel to swing on through here. My lord, the peasants say that the ogre has concealed an important item in its lair. Some think the treasure was created at the same time as a statue located further northeast. Okay, and there's a hint for you to take the item the ogre is guarding to this statue that is in the northeast which we can't see at the moment attack okay so let's um actually let's just kill the orc as quickly as possible we don't like that 55 damage per turn and of course now that the cleric will heal everybody at once don't have to worry about killing the archer quickly so you can heal your main um, tank anymore. You can heal both at the same time, which is nice. Okay, and there's that dead. And we'll defend this turn so we can get a little more healing next. Alright, and another 24 experience. Oh, he should be leveling up fairly soon. It's good. For thy high now she can move in here and plant a rod. And now we are getting runestone mana coming in. What? Which is only useful to us if we buy spells from here. We'll just move our thief up to here, I think. And leave him for now. Command. Okay, and end the turn. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is some sort of muted demonic chanting in the background at the moment. Sounds pretty dangerous for us. Now this is a lightning scroll, only mages can use these. Um, it uses the scroll to cast the spell, so you don't use any mana, and you don't have to have the spell researched. Um, it's good to have if you have find a powerful scroll somewhere. You can't make it there. Hmm. Okay, we'll just swing through here. Attack! 